you're all doing well. So we have another episode of the best products of 2022. And this is the I category, which I must admit is probably my favorite category. Okay, I did my eyes a little bit differently than I know, not differently, but I added a little flower here. Don't ask me why. I really was, I wanted to do something with my my water activated liners when I was doing this like um, uh, two-tone wing and I was like okay I know I wanted to film the eye video today so okay let's do something different with the eyes because I could do a half cut crease I could give you all that but I thought that was just so cute it's very springtime but we do what we want okay listen y'all ready all right so I'm going to go through my favorite eye products. We will start, uh, I think I'm going to do the palettes last because the eyeshadows last because I am. Um, I'm going to go kind of backwards of how we put our products on. Um, and we're going to start with the lashes. So I don't have necessarily a specific lash that I wore all this year. You know, I rotate out. But br the brand of lash, Kiss, has won my heart. My favorite brand of lashes were Coco Lashes. They still make wonderful lashes, but I could only get Cocoa Lashes from LadyMoss.com. And I would get them like when I go to eye masks, different things, but then I would make orders from Lady Moss and get the Cocoa Lashes. They're like $6.99, $7.99. Wonderful styles. But then Kiss Baby upped their situation in the drugstore. And they have so many lines. They have a so like these, for example, these so wispies. This is a multi-pack, beautiful wispy type of lash. They have the lash couture line, which is uh they have Oh my God! Hold on, I got. I thought I pulled out the right ones. I gotta. I gotta show you. Oh, uh, what is it? Russian volume. Oh my God! Where is it? Listen, listen. Uh, the Lash Couture Lux Extension Line. I've I've used these a few times. Uh, the Rush. This this style in Russian volume. Um. Oh my goodness. Those are wonderful. The Lush, the Lash Couture line, the matte black line. These are more thick, luxurious. Uh, what else we have? The what is? These are the Lash Drip, the like wet look 3D ones, baby. Then go in your beauty store. Go in your beauty store because you know Kiss has a lot of sub lines. The I Envy line, I Envy is by Kiss. Listen, Kiss has taken over, and I really, really like. How accessible they are. You can get Kiss in Walmart, Ulta, Target, in your local beauty supply. The ones in the beauty supply, you can get lashes. These are $4.99. You can get some of those $3.99. They have so many different styles. Super long 25 millimeter, fluffy, wispy, with spiky, whatever you want. Kiss, top lash brand. By far, they did the damn thing. Get yourself some Kiss lashes. They have natural ones, just super dramatic. Wonderful. Okay, now let's go into eyeliner. So, well, I did lashes. Let's do mascara. I'm trying to go backwards. Let's go backwards. <laughs> we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay, so my favorite mascara, um, it, it Cosmetics Superhero. I have found some mascaras from Essence that I really, really love. They've made it in monthly favorites, but like I always go back to the It Cosmetics Superhero. Um, this is just a wonderful lengthening, adds volume, keeps the curl. Love this mascara. Um, you can get it on sale, like for example, 21 Days of Beauty. Ulta has it for half off. It's like $21, $22, but I never pay full price for it. There's there's always some sort of deal with it. And it's just really, really nice. Now, I will say I almost always wear false lashes when I wear makeup. Um, and, I, <laughs> and I always wear mascara under my lashes. This is the mascara that makes your natural lashes blend in with the false the false lashes the best but it also just is great on its own where it looks like is she wearing false she's wearing a little bit of wispy when you wear this mascara so it's a great all around wonderful mascara and I recommend everyone to get a cosmetic superhero you should you really really should okay wear up oh, okay uh, keep everything organized here because 
I just do. <laughs> now we are on to, are we on to eyeliner? Why not? Let's do, let's do eyeliner. So I have a few. Eyeliner can change your whole look. I love eyeliner. I love eyeliner in all its forms. I love, I wear eyeliner with per, almost every look. There are some where it's very, if I'm not wearing eyeliner, it's intentional. I'm never going to forget it. It's intentional. Um, so starting with the liquids here, I have two liquid liners that are absolutely wonderful. So the first one being the Milani Stay Put Matte Eyeliner. It claims to be 17 hour wear. I can honestly say I don't know if I've tested that. Um, but it is waterproof. It does not move. And this is the shade. I have the black. I have the navy blue. It's a really opaque liner. Yet uh, thin enough to work with. Um, thin enough to work with. You'd be opaque in one swipe. And it just works really well. It dry, And I love that it's matte. That Stay Put Matte eyeliner we love a matte eyeliner um I know that the uh what is it the NYX vinyl one that was one that um I'm trying to think the finish on that one all right I'm getting off topic anyway I love a matte eyeliner I think the NYX vinyl one was the only like non-matte one I really really liked um yeah but this kind of overtook my NYX Epic Ink. My NYX, NYX Epic Ink is still a wonderful eyeliner, but I use this more. This became more of a favorite this year. Along with the Tinty Doll, well not Tint, but yeah, Tinty Doll liner from Lancome. Um, this is the Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. Now, they do the same thing, but I'm going to tell you something. This one is slightly thicker than this one, uh, meaning... This pen, like, I have just a little bit more control. I am a pretty good, good eyeliner person. I have good and bad days, but for the most, most of the time, I can control any eyeliner. But, but, this one just gives a little bit more control. They're both long wearing. They're both super, super black. Um, but just depending on your formula, depending on what you prefer. Yeah. And they're both waterproof. All those, those, those kind of things. So, yeah, get into it. Let's talk about, I got a few. I got a few. I got a few pencil liners. We're going to start with these. These are technically shadow sticks, but I use them mostly as liner. The e.l.f. No Budge Matte Shadow Stick. We love a matte finish. I just, I talked about it in my lip video. I love a matte finish, even though I love sparkle and glitter and all of that. I just feel like a matte finish looks good on everyone. Done well. You can have a matte finish and not look dry. You know, I just, I just love it. And, you know, when things are advertised as matte something, matte shadow sticks, matte lipsticks, matte eyeshadow, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. So these are the No Budge Matte Shadow Sticks. I use these uh, as liner, inner corner highlights, things like that. Um, these, specifically the matte ones, they last really, uh, really long. They do very well in my waterline. They're a chubbier, sh well, they're shadow sticks. They're a chubbier pencil. They're not, like, skinny like an eyeliner. Um, and they do have a sharpener on the bottom. And they're five or six dollars. Uh, I do recommend, if you're looking for some matte eyeliners, if you're looking for some matte eyeliners in nice colors, uh, look at shadow sticks. You don't have to have some skinny pencil liner. Um, these are a little bit less intimidating to work with than a very precise thin pencil liner. So that might be something to consider, okay? Get your e.l.f. shadow sticks. Y'all. Alright, the skinny pencil liners. We have the NYX Epic Smoke Liners. These are wonderful. Um, I have all the shades of these. What these are are a retractable liner. Retractable liner, again, long wearing, stay in your waterline. You could do a wing at the top and smoke it out. I'm explaining the situation. So it's this teardrop shape. It's this teardrop shape of a liner. Okay, great colors. I want them to come out with some like bright, I guess ep epic smoke. I guess the theme here is things you want a traditional like smoky out colors. That makes any sense. And then you get this teeny tiny uh, brush on the other side. Okay, that you can use to smoke out the the liner. I rarely use this brush, I'm going to be honest with you, if any. But you can, like, smoke it out. Do you see that? Smudge it out, smoke it out. And these are absolutely wonderful. The quality of the liner is what I really love. They have more neutral colors. You do get a blue. There's a purple in there. Um, there's a nice bright cream one for brightening. Uh, these are long-wearing. They I love the idea that you can smoke them out, but they're long-wearing. They're a great range of colors, and they're just a... Steady, a sturdy eyeliner. 
a nice eyeliner. They're not super skinny or super thin, so you don't have to be super intimidated by, you know, controlling it. And so, yeah. And then finally with the eyeliners, these next ones are not retractable, but they are, um, these you sharpen. <sighs> the Too Faced Killer Liners. Listen. Let me tell you something. I what well, these are like twenty two dollar liners. I never paid full price for them. Every time um, I tried like one or two during a sale where they were fifty percent off, like Ulta twenty one days something. They won't say I bought a few. Fell in love. These liners are beautiful, creamy, opaque, uh, bold, rich colors. They last until you take them off in your waterline, not moving. Um, Yes, yeah, so I picked up a few and then I went to, I did a haul at the cosmetic company outlet and they had a sale of like 10 for 6, 6 for 60 items. I bought all the eyeliners, it was $10 a piece pretty much. I bought all the eyeliners but um, these are, they claim to be what, 36 hour wear, total control, 36 hour waterproof eyeliner. They are waterproof um, in terms of 36 hours, haven't tested that. But, <sighs> smooth, creamy, gel pencil oh absolutely beautiful i found some winners in the eyeliner category this year and then the final eyeliner we have our cake liners i was also the theme <laughs> of this eye look because i have fallen in love i've always loved the gel liner you know in a pot i love things in jars hi if you didn't know that i always say that i love things in jars and um like a gel cream liners are always wonderful but the idea of a cake liner is not new. It's not new. I've been wearing them for, for years, but this year I really, really honed in on playing around with different ones. Um, these two I have are from Suva Beauty, but I have various brands. Um, well, I'm lying. I only have like two, three brands, but most of mine are from Suva Beauty. I really want to make a Glistens Cosmetics order um, later in the year. I think maybe like in the springtime because I want to do a huge one to get a lot of their liners. Um, so, but that can wait. But definitely so what a cake waterproof waterproof uh, they're not waterproof what a cake water activated liner is is the, the liner is dried essentially dried out in this cake form you're not going to get anything off of it in this cake form um that's really like it's it's crazy nothing in this cake form um, and you and you don't get your pigment until you wet it with water. Now, the more water you use, the thinner, the sheer the color is going to be. You want to find that happy medium um, consistency. I like mine a little bit on the thicker side, so I'll use less water, just enough to get it coated in the brush because I have more control that way. Um, and you can use these. I made my little flowers with them. You can do so much artistic eyeliner with these type uh, with these type of liners. Get your thin liner brushes. Most companies that sell. These cake liners sell great liner brushes to go with it. If I'm doing a wing with a liner brush, um, with, any, with, with a liner brush, if I'm doing a wing with any pretty much gel cream liner, I have to use a brush. I like to use an angle brush. I'll use something even as big as this. These are art angled brushes. I get them from like Michaels. Um, and it's so easy to do. But if you want those thinner, uh, more detailed looks, there are thin, skinny liner brushes. I honestly, I don't even know if I own a thin, skinny, true liner brush. I get my teeny tiny liner brushes in like the art section. Um, so, yeah. But I really love this idea. They last forever. Um, you just, you know, once you wet them, you know, and you let it just dry back out and put the lid back on. Also, they can be mixed. Um, they can be mixed very, very easily. And that's, a, you can make a lot of custom colors. I have one, like, for example, many brands will do this. These are some from Perfusion. They'll sell split pans. So this is like a lighter green and a deeper green. They'll sell a split pan and you can mix and have so many shades of green and then literally let it um, wipe it clean and you don't mess up the eyeliner. Um, I, if I'm mixing them, I tend to mix them on like a palette or something, but easy cleanup. They're absolutely wonderful. And um, yeah, so I'll link the, I'll link the Suva ones down below because those are my favorite right now. Um, but yeah, liner, 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 liner. All right, okay, now, this is, I don't know what category to put it in, but if we're working backwards, this is something that, like, I, 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 I put on my, like, if I want to add a little shimmer, shimmer, I want to add a little razzle-dazzle to my look. I have become obsessed. I know people hate 
the overuse of the word obsessed, but I was obsessed with flakes of any kind. N not so much glitter. I love glitter, but I've steered away from using glitter, not intentionally, but just because flakes have been into my life. Uh, <laughs> these are the Danessa Myricks Beauty, uh, I don't know the official name of the product, but this is the shade Cupid. These are like dual chromatic, multi-dimensional. These are flakes suspended in a uh, base and you can apply them to your lids, apply them to your face, your hair, whatever. I have loose flakes as well, but the Danessa Myricks have been the, um, have been the favorite that I have been using the most. I use these, uh, I use these in a few videos. One, probably the, the, the most, Memorable video was when I did my birthday makeup, when I wore, um, when I was, I decided to be like a Cinderella blue iridescent dress, I, I did it up, baby. And I used a few of these, um, so she has a few more that I'd like to try, a few more colors, um, but the dual chromatic, then that's some works really good with dual chromatic, multi-chromatic, and you can just dab them on. They don't require any special adhesive. You can just dab them on. Like I like to dab them on the center of my lid or either in the inner corner to give a little reflective razzle dazzle multi-dimensional situation. So we love to see it. We love to see it. Um, and yeah, the flakes, the flakes are everything. Okay, one more product before I get into the shadow. This is a concealer. It's the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer matte finish. I'm be honest with you. This is my favorite concealer to cut my crease right now. I had to put it in this video because shout out. I used to use Tarte Shape Tape, which Tarte Shape Tape, fine. This is $6 and I've been using it ever since. I'm gonna be honest, the e.l.f. camo concealer, I have not been able to like it on me as a concealer and I think it's because I haven't found the right shade. The shade range is a little wonky. The shade that's closest to something that I would I would use to brighten is like an olive undertone and they don't have anything in that warm golden undertone that I like for my under eye. It's just not right. I have not found that shade that makes me like you know it's just it but uh this is uh medium peach this is a, a really light shade and it works very well to cut my crease it it worked little goes a long way it's a full coverage concealer but i love it it's the perfect consistency for me to have control not too thin not too thick for me to cut my crease and shout out to it so i keep it in my little area of things i don't want to dig for every day wonderful all right now we're on to eyeshadow so i have two, um I have some singles to talk about, then I have some best palettes of 2022. Best palettes, are already. Let's take a sip. This is just a uh, sugar free apple cranberry grape cream. Something. Something with cranberry in it. Used to not like cranberry juice until I became an adult and realized you could mix it with vodka. And then I was like, oh. Alright. And then. <laughs> I started to appreciate the juice by itself more. Okay. All right, so this is probably the, 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 the most recent addition to my collection that snuck its way into favorites of 2022. The Mora Beauty Star Show Eyeshadows. These are semi-pressed pigment in a jar. They come like this with a little tamp on the, out, on the inside. You need to keep that, and they are wonderful full pigment eyeshadow pigments um, with beautiful metallic some have dual chromatic finishes they are very very they're light in terms of like uh not not uh what was I gonna say they're light in terms of feel um but they pack a punch and they're easily blendable they look beautiful come uh uh what is the word I'm looking for paired with any sort of matte shade blending out, I've used them on the lid. I've used them cut crease, half cut crease. I've used them just, you know, just one shadow look. I've used so, like, all I've been using. I've used them uh, inner corner highlight. Have not used them as a face highlight yet, but you probably could do that too. They have um, 18 shades. They're $7.50 a piece, or you can get the whole vault for like $105 or $106 or one something like that. 
you get the whole bowl. I did, I did have, I do have a whole video showing these and swatching these. I'm gonna try to link all information down below, but absolutely beautiful. As I said before, I love things in jars and I love when things work. In, like I love I don't just buy everything in a jar but like I love being able to reach for like these individual type of components in my collection and these are wonderful I do not have one favorite shade they're literally still here in my new area I I don't have because they I can't put them away in my collection yet I just can't um yeah I just can't I'm missing that teal what? 15, 16, 17. We missing one. Hang on. I, I'll find it later, but it's somewhere. It's somewhere around here. Oh, it's in here. Okay. This is probably one of my favorites, this teal shade. But um I don't have I don't have like ultimate favorite, but beautiful. Beautiful. Uh now we have no, we don't have all palettes yet. All right, so a single brand. So let me talk really quick. I'm, I'm a palette girl. I am a palette girl by default, but I have really gotten in probably the past two years, really appreciating the brands putting out singles. Now I collected the Coastal Sense Hot Pots. I made like custom palettes with the rest in peace Coastal Sense. I've made curated palettes with the Coastal Sense Hot Pots. I've had like favorite shades in there that I will always use to put you know put a look together and so I I have my experience with single shadows but didn't really start appreciating them until maybe the last couple years and a brand two brands that have really really solidified my love of singles and putting and making your custom shades and different things are clarity and give me glow these two brands are absolutely wonderful with their with their formula for eyeshadows, the mattes, the metallics, the super metallics, the shimmers, the multi-chromes, the dual chromes, absolutely wonderful. These brands are very similar, um, and they, uh, I believe the brand, the brand owners are actually friends. I think I've talked about it before. No, no problem there. I don't care. So they have, they have very, very uh, similar vibes, and they have their eyeshadow pans in 36 millimeter pans. I'm going to show you the shadows one second. In 36 millimeter pans, bigger pans, um, and I love that. I Clarity is actually deciding to reduce their going to standard size, 26 millimeter pans also fine no shade so they had a huge sale and they put all of their bigger pants on sale and I bought every single eyeshadow from them I did not own that video w will be a video whenever they arrive I probably won't get them to like the new year because they got delays and sales and they're a small brand and small business and like but but we will discuss it okay all right so let me show you just I made a cure a little palette with both of those both of the brands uh, last week that I'm going to play with and use but these are examples of what they look like. Let's get in. What they look like. Um, yeah. They're all like hand pressed and stuff. Absolutely beautiful. This is a combination of Give Me Glow and Clarity in this pan. I'll show you some pigment. This is a Clarity shade. This is High Tide. Okay. This is a matte blue. God. Craziness. Um, let me see if one of these mats is give me glow. Okay, then yeah, this mat is give me glow one o'clock. Okay, I just it's in it's in it's insane how intense they are. Okay, let's go to let's go to like the just show you some finishes the the metallic super metallic. This one is love the shape. Ooh, we almost lost it. This one is clarity. It's called Playboy. You, <laughs> it's insane. And Playboy has a little bit of flaky, like, you can see that. Look, look at that. Look at that. Um, oh my God, this is clarity. Do we have a problem? I'm just watching some. Oh my God. Do we have a problem? Let me see if I can find a do or give me, go I have these. 
stored in my big magnetic palette, like my giant magnetic palettes. I have them put together. I don't, most of my, all of my singles, like from various brands, my individual magnetic singles are sorted in their own magnetic palettes, like by brand. So like my Makeup Geek shadows are separate, my Coastal Sense shadows are separate, my clear, my Carity, not Clarity, Carity singles are separate, my ColourPop singles are separate. But I put Gimme Glow and Clarity together. They're the same size, this giant size, and I really don't need to differentiate them. I really don't. Um, damn, did I put all Clarity? Um, we gotta find one. Did I put all Clarity? No one back to my little palette? Hang on. Have a little tool pick them up. We're gonna find a give me glow one just so you can see. Maybe I just happen to pick all clear <laughs> all clarity metallics with this palette. Maybe. Oh my god, seriously. Hang on. Here's a give me glow. This one's called Summer Bling. This is a foiled press pigment. Okay. Look. That's a dual chromatic situation. Look absolutely stunning pigment these two brands really took my heart i have some of their palettes in in here for favorites as well these two brands really really stole my heart uh this year and um they did give me glow um give me glow was in my favorite face with their bronzers and blushes and highlights they did they did a damn good job with those this year. And I also ordered some highlighters from Clarity. Don't have those yet. But in my big, you know, haul, I ordered some of those. These brands. And let's let's stick with them since we're talking about them. Now we're on to palettes. So my favorite palette, um, one of my favorite palettes for 2022 was from Give Me Glow. I have a whole video talking about this one. This is the Two Moods palette from Give Me Glow. This concept is absolutely wonderful. So first off, the artwork is beautiful. It matches my whole roses skull theme behind me. It's it's, it's a Christmas theme though right now because we have the tree up. Well, um, this is beautiful. The idea of this it's a definitely a rosy a rosy themed palette, rosy plums. But what you have here is. A palette, like a dual-sided palette, okay, cute, cute, cute. You have 16 shades, but you have four distinct quads in this palette. And something that I pointed out in my review of this palette, first off, the shades are beautiful. The pigmentation is absolutely insane because we just talked about this brand's eyeshadows. Uh, we just talked about it, but... <laughs> the this this respect I have is because these are four distinct quads in this palette. I'm trying to figure out how to hold it. Four distinct quads in this palette, right? But then if you are new, your your it, it sounds like it's to to people who wear makeup all the time, to who are super creative with a palette, who can just look at something, put something together. But for someone who needs a little bit of guidance, the metallic shade is in the same spot. Your deepest shade is in the same spot. So like, oh okay, that's my smoky out whatever crease shade. That's my brow highlight in these quads. That is my mid tone transition shade. It's just a small detail. That I know a lot of people would overlook, but I really appreciate it in this palette. Not to mention the colors are beautiful. Um, but the fact that it's four, you can just see four distinct quads. You have a uh, neutral, where are we? Like a neutral rose gold quad. You have a lighter pink quad. You have a corally pink quad. And then you have like a, a purple plum quad. And I just really appreciated that. And I think they did a wonderful job. Shout out to Give Me Glow. Now, let's talk about Clarity's palettes. Uh, I have a, quite a few Clarity palettes. That's my only uh, Give Me Glow palette. But Clarity's palettes have a lot of them. But my fave... Well, I think I have another Give Me Glow. That's not the point. My favorite Clarity palettes uh, I acquired this year. And it is the Lily palette and it's the Bloom palette. I'm not going to keep talking about the quality. Because y'all seen it. But look at these color. And the palettes contain the big size shadows. Just like they're singles. Like I love it. And I, I do. I don't want more brands to come out with big pans. Because then it won't be as unique. But I love it. I know... Juvia's Place has big pans, but I don't think their pans are even as big as these. But anyway, anyway, this is the Lily palette. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at how gorgeous those just look. And we're going to swatch this. I don't even know if you grow, girl. I don't, let me get in. 
and see if you can see you grow girl and all its goodness it is a multi-dimension multi-chromatic situation uh, is the food ready okay I brought I'll, it to you. I'll be huh? I brought it to you okay it's here for you thank you love you love you too hi video audience so look listen listen y'all I just all right I said I wasn't gonna swatch but I'm still swatching I, beautiful beautiful spring palette or any other time of the year all right then the next one from clarity is the bloom palette this is a deep it's not it's a deep palette but it's it's deep in a unique way it's not like a smoky it's not like a deep neutrals it's a it's a it's a this what do you want what do we what do you want to do <sighs> absolutely stunning okay this beautiful teal this deep uh indigo these look at these shades you guys I could not put those palettes down this year I know believe it or not I'm trying everything but they 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 just I think they're absolutely wonderful shout out to those two uh, small indie brands doing the damn thing all right let's get into uh, this Tarte Man Eater palette because it, it's wonderful it blew me away um, I, I'm giving this palette a, 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 an award this year because, wait a minute, I got it. I'm giving this palette an award this year because <laughs> tart. This was wonderful from the packaging, from the black and gold, we love black and gold, to the, the cheetah print on front or leopard, whatever you want to use, um, to these wonderful, I call it a luxurious, a grown-up neutral palette, like a grown-up neutral with pops of color palette. I love it. You have, in me being a brown girl, nothing in here is ashy. The lightest shade in here is perfect on my lids or even a brow highlight. It goes deep enough. Black, plum. You have your pretty metallics. Um, the metallics aren't too, they're not like give me glow or clarity where it's like overwhelming. Like this is a beautiful palette for someone who wants a one good eyeshadow palette. They're not going to steer too far in the brights and rainbows, but they don't want everything smoky and boring. This is perfect. 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 And it looks so luxurious. It will look beautiful on your vanity. The quality is great. The pans are a very decent size. And I just feel like Tarte did this. They really did. And I just, I really am impressed. We're almost done. We're almost done. All right. Then I actually got, I don't remember when I got, I did get them this year. Um, but when I first got my first melt palette I feel like it was last year I don't know but melt we got to talk about three palettes from melt first one is the rust palette I think I got this one at actually last year November at um uh the makeup show anyway this warm thing look at this warm thing look at it I just this <laughs> I love a warm palette. I I know. I love a warm. If I ever do an updated video to like best warm palettes, my favorite warm palettes, this one will be in there. Uh, Melts eyeshadows are really, really nice quality. Um, I will say the shot they're they're their palettes on the pricey side like the Tarte one uh the give me glow one is a little bit ex more expensive too but I do feel as though the aesthetic is really really unique and the aesthetic is something that I wouldn't mind having on my vanity paired with high quality eyeshadows I just really enjoy their aesthetic to their palettes but anyway this is a beautiful warm palette a beautiful warm gradient of mattes to your deeper shades no black in here shout out to that okay um and I really just enjoyed what this did for me this was a great supplemental palette um, until I got the last palette I'm going to talk about. But this is a really great supplemental palette if I wanted some uh, matte kind of like mid-range neutral, especially with these two here. Um, 
So, just well done. Now, even more loving than the rest. I couldn't decide. Um, and so both of them. And I'm biased because I'm a Gemini. The Gemini 1 and 2. Now, the Gemini 2 came out this year. The Gemini 1 has been around for a while. I didn't own it. I went and bought the Gemini 2 because I heard everyone loving it. And I was like, all right, I'm going to get it. And I went in Sephora and I saw the Gemini 1 and I was like, I don't own this. I don't own this. So let's start with, we'll work backwards. Let's start with the Gemini 2. These rosy green, rose is the theme here. Rose. And rose is my birth month, uh, my birth flower, Gemini stand up. Ju this is me. I had to buy it. This is me all over. Okay, all I had to do is put a couple pearls on it because that's my birth stone. Let's, let's get into it. Absolutely beautiful. These, uh, the embossing is so lovely on these shades. It's only on the matte ones. Um, but it's a gr beautiful gradient. You're starting with light pink, burgundy, a little bit of, uh, not plum, but a little bit of deeper burgundy, and then greens. Like, who, you look at a rose in like that color scheme. We don't need a brown a true brown. We don't need a black. We can do pinks and greens and have a complete palette. I did uh, videos on these. I did like one look, one eye, one one eye. I couldn't decide and I was I was I was working these out. Um you absolutely absolutely beautiful. Let me swatch. Uh okay. I love this like baby poop khaki green. <laughs> I really do. I really do. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I, I can't say absolutely beautiful, but so many times. And I just love sharing what I love. So if you're looking for a more critical scientific review, I'm sure they're out there. Okay. And then the Gemini 1. So I went and bought the Gemini 2. I was like, oh yeah, yo, I'm getting that. I made that decision watching all y'all on YouTube. Like, all right, all right. And then I saw the Gemini one and I was like, wait a minute, you talking again. Now this one has a black. You talking rose golds, browns and greens. I was like, this is something. This is another unique situation that they put a black rice smack dab in the middle. Not mad at it because they didn't put it on the end. Black is always on the end in an eyeshadow palette. And I love when brands don't do that. Um... But you're talking this rose gold shade called Gemini. And then rose gold is my favorite metallic and is named Gemini. Y'all, you might as well have put me in the boardroom when y'all made this decision. Okay? Um, polka dot. I love polka dots. Uh, <laughs> so, let me just swatch. And the greens from this palette aren't really repetitive with the greens from the Gemini 2. Well, the Gemini 2 isn't repetitive from the Gemini 1. But this color scheme, I was like, yes, rose. I, 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 the quality, insane. And this is a palette, again, very unique to my collection with this choice of 10 shades. A 10 pan palette, and I can honestly say I don't have this combination of colors uh, sitting in my collection. Either one. If I had to choose which one I liked more, I can't. I can't. So, that's why they're both in there. And then finally, I, this palette deserves all the appreciation in the world because uh, for some it might be too big, but for me, it gave everything that I was missing from every other palette ever. Every other eyeshadow look. Um, that I was putting together and in the in the realm of neutrals when I was looking for the right transition, the right neutral brow highlight, the right thing to smudge my eyeliner with that wasn't like a specific color from the palette, but in the neutral family, this palette came through. It took me forever to filter this into my collection, like finally sort it and put it away. Um, and I still, still want it sitting on my vanity and it is the Beauty Bay Nude Palette. This palette, 42 colors, it, at first glance, okay, 42 colors. Top two rows are matte. Middle two rows are metallic. Next row is matte. Final row is metallic. Any neutral you need, and I just, I call this, you can do a beautiful neutral look. Beautiful neutrals, metallics, gold. You can do one, complete. I've done plenty of them, just this palette. Plenty of them. When I can't think of what I want to put on my eyes, but I want to be full glam, been using this palette up. Plenty of them. 
You, I don't want this shade out. This one here, plenty of them. But, but again, you're doing a look, and I mean, let's say for this, I don't know, it ain't gonna be me in this case. But let's say I'll do this palette. I'm like, I just really want to brown the title together. I really want to start with a brown in the transition. I really want to start with a new, with a with a with a warm brown, with a cooler brown, I, whatever. Okay, I really wish I had, I just had a little bit of black. Well, you can find black in a bunch of palettes. But, like, I really wish I have used these so many different ways on my lid to brighten up. It just, I just feel like it, it, it fills in any of the gaps where you're, like, in the, if it's in the neutral range and you're, like, I wish this palette had a neutral this for me. You know what I'm saying? I wish it had that. And that's how I used it. All while still being able to get full complete looks with it because of the variation in the finishes. And granted, you can do a full matte look. I've done it. You can do a full shimmer look. It's fine. But like when I say a complete look, you have your uh, pick of textures there. Pigmented Beauty Bay is absolutely wonderful with their quality. This shade here, what is it called? I don't wore off the... Is that Nutmeg? This shade right here favorite warm brown. I done wore the B out of it. I done wore the B out of it. These are some swatch because like y'all know me. I use I rarely use anything up but I done wore the letters out of that palette as much as I'm reaching for those shades to supplement different things to be what they are beautiful. Shout out to Beauty Bay for the 42 color nude palette. Well friends those are my best eye products of 2022. I hope you enjoyed watching that video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in the video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!